oh there's so much trash people are not being good to the earth and i was like you're right <laughs> Hey, what's up? Hi, how's it going? I haven't vlogged much in a couple of days. Uh, we already passed the 4th of July and there's a oh. ant on my finger. But we are now on lawn stool. Turn my phone off all the way. We dropped Chelsea and Rachel off at the hospital here on lawn stool because Chelsea has an appointment and Leah can't go. So we came with them and brought Leah and Calvin to the park. Then after this, we're gonna do a little bit of running around. We need to go to Primark and get a couple of grocery things. We figured we would just do that stuff together. Look at this little fly. What? Oh, it was just like flying around my hand. You're doing great. I'm gonna read while you guys play. It's about two o'clock now on Wednesday. I worked on videos this morning. I've been cleaning and now I have a headache, but I'm trying out something that I don't know if it's working. I saw this thing online that if you make like a fruit fly trap that they'll go in there, but there's one there, there's one there, one there. They're not really going in like they should. And another one. Go in there. Why isn't this working? But I have gone around and watered all the plants this morning and kind of moved stuff around a little bit. This one was by the TV. It was getting a little dead. So I moved it. Um, and then this one I moved back over by the window. I don't know what this is gonna do, but it's really pretty. And then this one I put over here for now. See, look, there's another one. Think I can kill it? I missed. But this is the Coca-Cola plant that I got. These are my tulips that literally look like they're dying. And I don't know if it's just like a seasonal thing and that they'll, they'll come back or what, but they really look like they're dying. I put my aloe in a bigger pot because it was leaning over the top of the other one so now this one has like <laughs> it can brace it up a little bit better i moved this one to here i moved one of the helix plants to here and the cactus to here the cactus was i think on here and a helix was up there but i'm trying to like make sure everything's getting enough sun this one is thriving but like the only one that is and then i moved these two bigger guys to by the doors because we have the front door open a lot and the back door open a lot so the wind can come through but that slams both of these doors so i kind of have to have them positioned to like keep the doors open plus it looks really pretty looking in like this there's a bunch of plants so i'm not complaining hazy kipper hey this succulent was inside. I don't know if it's not getting enough sun or what. Hopefully it's not dead by the time you guys see this and someone can help me. But like, is it getting too much water and not enough sun? Is it getting too much sun, not enough water? I think it's getting too much water, not enough sun. Cause these feel really full and like they're light, like they're not getting enough sun. So I put it in a bigger pot and put it outside for a little while. See if that helps. So I'm doing a little bit of research on them and like the one by the window now that was by the TV that looks like it's dying. <laughs> trying to save it. Trying to learn some and save it. Ooh, it's getting windy. I think I'm gonna go to Thomas Phillips tomorrow and see if I can get like a bigger planter for this one because it's hanging on right at the edge and I don't feel like that's right. I feel like it should be more like this. These are tomatoes from my friend Melissa. Um, Calvin asked for a tomato plant, so she brought us some. Hopefully I can keep them alive. I feel like this one also needs the type of structure that one has, so we'll try to get it a better setup so that it doesn't die.
I think I drank plenty of water today. So the only explanation for my headache could be that I need more coffee. I also got this yesterday at the commissary. It's dairy-free organic creamer coconut milk. And I've seen it there many times, but I only paid attention to the organic creamer part. I never noticed it said coconut milk. So when I noticed that, I snatched it up. It's literally just coconut milk, coconut cream, cane sugar. Anyways, it says it stays fresh for up to 14 days. It's lactose-free, gluten-free, soy-free, carcinogen-free, vegan certified, and no preservatives. So I snagged that because I had just been putting a little bit of almond milk in my coffee, but for what reason am I trying to punish myself and not have sweet coffee? Who doesn't like sweet coffee? It's about 7.20 now. I'm turning my coffee pot off to turn it back on. That way it stays warm for longer. I actually made coffee at about 5.30 this morning when Travis woke me up. He was leaving for work, but before he was leaving, I needed to make him lunch this morning. I just did my workout though. Travis has been doing my workouts with me, but his hip has been bothering him a lot. It's getting old. So instead of doing the workouts with me, he's just been running and or riding his bike, which he actually gets to pick up his bike today. Long story, he got his bike tuned up because we're gonna be taking a trip soon and he wanted it to be in tip top shape. So I did my workout this morning because today's gonna be kind of busy. I have my nail appointment and then we have dentist appointments. And I need to get a couple groceries in between and like there's just gonna be some running around. So I wanted to knock out the workout first thing this morning and then shower and get ready for my day. And what are you already doing awake, mister? What are you already doing awake? Oh, would you going to see if your brother was up? He's probably not, huh? No, neither of them are. You got sleepies. Why are you licking my belly button? This job I used to go. <laughs> oh, that was a good yawn. I'm gonna go hop in the shower, okay? You gonna be all right? You can come lay in here. Just got my nails redone. We're now in K-Town at Coughlin. Y'all, look. They have all different kinds of hummus. Bean and pepper. Lentil curry, chickpea avocado, sweet potato pumpkin, chili paprika, and then all of these ones. Pesto, there's guacamole, hummus, paprika. <gasps> I'm so happy. These are my favorite brand of hummus. Love them so much. They have vega. It's only 87 cents here. It's a dollar something, I think, at the other one. They have mayo. Man. Calvin and I had a busy day today. Like I had showed, I got my nails redone. We just went to the dentist. I am so happy. You guys don't understand, okay. So for my whole life, I have always gotten cavities, like really easily. Like my mouth is full of fillings and that's just kind of normal. My parents both had like super kind of sensitive teeth, get cavities easily, and my brothers are all the same. I've always gotten cavities really easily. When I was pregnant with Calvin, I had two cavities bad enough that I had to get root canals on these back two teeth and they have caps on them. It's just been a nightmare my whole life. But your girl has been taking way better care of her teeth. I haven't actually been to the dentist for like an actual cleaning or a checkup or anything aside from like these two down here in I would say probably about five years <laughs> since we were in Okinawa at some point. I have not had a cleaning or a checkup or anything and that's really bad. But the really exciting thing is that I only have one cavity. I thought I was gonna have probably like seven to 11 cavities, not even joking. Like I thought after that amount of time, there's no way I was gonna have less than five cavities at minimum. I have one and it's not even that bad. So that means I've been taking so much better care of my teeth. Ugh, that makes me so happy. Have you ever seen someone so happy to have a cavity? I'm that happy to have one cavity. <laughs> but we picked up this wagon here. Disregard the pile of clothes that we're getting rid of. All stuff we don't wear anymore. This is a wagon that I got and will make much more sense later. We are taking a trip and this wagon is gonna come in very, very handy. So I'm gonna take it out of the box and see like how big it actually is 
and see if it's actually like all put together or if I'm gonna have to assemble something. Let's check it out, I'm really excited because I feel like I got a steal of a deal on this thing. Sounds like someone's been smoking in the warehouse. What? That's so cool. We have a cart. A little wagon. That's perfect. This will fit all of our stuff so nicely. Look at this. It's perfect. That tire's not even touching the ground. It has a 150 pound weight limit. I could almost ride in there. Yeah, I could almost ride in there. Yeehaw! <laughs> look at that. Drinks there? Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah. Oh! You could lay in there. You could almost use that as a bed. What's this? Oh, it keeps like sliding. The bus has arrived. Thank you. You're welcome. Pretty sweet. Now I have to show our friends. So we spent the day at Sinclair's house. Chelsea invited us over. They're the ones with the twins. And then Calvin wanted to stop. We made a stop at the BX here. And we went through the parking garage. Because not really that you're supposed to, but like little insider tip. There's no way for them to like ticket you or anything for parking in here without a parking pass. So like, we park in here sometimes. Like today? Yeah. And there's a bunch of trash in like the stairwell area. And I was saying, I was saying, be better to the earth. Yeah, he walked through there and he's like, oh, there's so much trash. People are not being good to the earth. And I was like, you're right. <laughs> But we're gonna make a quick stop by Travis's work real quick because he rode his bike to work today and we dropped off some lunch stuff with him and I'm gonna go and pick that stuff up so we can take the Tupperware home so it's not just sitting at work all weekend because it's Friday. The, um, our, Cause if you're just gonna go in and get the thing then I was thinking of just staying in here. Yeah, I don't know if daddy's left yet, we'll see. But I was just gonna stop and pick that stuff up and then we're headed home. Oh, no. 